Jill is making us some um, eggs and bakey. 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 Yeah. But we are on the beach. And we are about to do a, we don't have juice, but we're going to do a blueberry smash yeah. of champagne. So a modified mimosa. And then blueberry pancakes oh, to go along with Oh that. my goodness. So. And then we have another casita back there. Got just overflowing with casitas. Look at how big these blueberries are. I couldn't... That... Wow. It's the size of an apple. It's almost wild. That is a buoy that probably broke off during some hurricane and has landed ashore. That is our closest neighbor. Can't make out what it is. Actually, looks like there's a little bit of a neighbor way past him. Um, but this is going to be our update video of our mods for our casita. And here we are. We're back at. Padre National Seashore. Well, I call this North Padre. And this is about 33 minutes south of Corpus Christi. And it is Monday right now and it is really cleared out. There is nobody left. Uh, the temperature the temperature gauge inside the casita, windows open, says 72. It's probably actually like 75 out here. The breeze today, uh, I would say it's about 12 mile an hour, which is down from yesterday's 15 to 18. So today is m way more lovelier. And uh, I want to show you, there's the wife, I want to show you a little bit of our mods and uh, things that we've done. Things that I need to do, and I have, because every time you go camping, you, you've got an idea. Oh man, we need to do this next time. Oh man, wouldn't it be great if we had that? So maybe if I explain things to you, you'll be better, better prepared. Look at all those pelicans. I think they're traveling back north from the Mexico winters. So one thing, let's go well, first. Let's take a look at our mods. We recently got this back from Little Home on the Road there in, I don't know if it's Azel or Rome, Rome, Texas, which is just south of where we live in Decatur. <clears throat> first thing, this is our real first test of our solar panels. We just went for the Amazon.com Renogy 100 watt. It's a folding, I can't, I can't tell you the, 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 <clears throat> I think what they call like glass crystals. I don't know what the hell that is, but all I know is it works great. In fact, if you come back here to this control panel, let me show you what we're pulling. We're rocking out 5.6 amps of input and our current battery is 12.4. And 12.4 is probably only because I am charging up a lithium ion refrigerator right now that has a huge heavy battery, so it's taking a little bit of a draw. As you can see right here, I've got a trailer on it. Uh, I'm sorry, a uh, cargo trailer hitch. And it's being able to do that because of a little, little home on the road installed a bumper for me. It's a bolt on, nice and sturdy. Now, I've got a riser on there. You could see, imagine if this thing was actually at that level. Look how, look how we've been scraping everywhere we go. So, I wanted a riser, but I wanted the ability to adjust it. And the Amazon has a few that are like $40, and they have like a predetermined two, four inches. But I wanted this max throw, just because I don't, I don't know yet. Anyways, the damn thing was like 140 bucks. Doesn't that suck? My dumbass paid for it. But I love it because I've already adjusted it to, uh, to that height and I think I'm actually going to raise it one more because when we went to the off-road, the, the ranch, when we went off-roading, I still scraped. So I'm thinking another another two inches of, of ground clearance. 
this is a Harbor Freight unit. They're, they're, they're all just about $100. If you go to eTrailer.com, you can find one that has the extra wide ones, but this is plenty enough. This box right here I've got is a Lowe's Special. It is 64 gallons. It is literally the biggest tub that they sold in their little tub station. And it looks like it's just sitting on there. But I've actually bolted it through. Those are the bolts. And I got three brackets on the inside, on the bottom. And uh, so I'm... <laughs> I worry about people coming, driving up behind me. They're probably wondering this thing's going to fall off. But it, it, it is a hidden bolt system. There it is, right there. There's, there's one of the brackets. I got one on that side. One. Of it's empty right now because the lawn chairs and the barbecue pit, whatnot, go in, go in here. It's not a very good case. I wouldn't recommend it. We had a hailstorm and it chipped right there. It's very thin. But uh, I'm sure it's not waterproof either. But we're gonna we're gonna rock it till it's it's over. Oh, uh, here we go on this side. We've got this is how the solar panel hooks up. It'll have its own cord coming through. And what I did is we just uh, we uh, did uh, I think they're called JST connectors. And then I just ran a wire to the positive and negative and put that tap on there. <clears throat> Another mod we've done is we've added the shock system, shock absorbers. Little home on the road hooks up with that too. There is a there. See that shiny powder coated thing? That's the bracket. There's a bolt on the other side of that frame rail. You can't see it. And there's there's a shock absorber. So hopefully that'll. Uh, there's there it is there. We do a lot of off roading and stuff, and we're gonna have this thing forever. So I want to just be taken care of. Let's go up to the front. We've got a Stromberg tray. Everybody knows a Stromberg tray. We've got a soft cover as well. And you have to do the soft cover because obviously it would have to come straight up to, to access your dude, your, uh, your, to be able to print, replace everything. And this is how you just turn everything on and off. You just open this valve and you stick your hand through there. Uh, another Amazon, a little special. I'll put, I'll put leaks to some of that stuff down there. Um, the Stromberg tray has allowed us to put a generator up here and a fuel can. And this generator will start. It's a, like 2,200 watts starting, 1,800 watts. But this is not. This is not permanent. I was just doing this to mess around with it. And it's actually, I've actually bolted it on through the pegs right there. You see the bolts, and then the bolt uh, right there and right there. So it looks like you could just walk up and grab it and steal it, but <laughs> no, it's it's hard mounted. And of course, there's rubber cushions on there, the bottom that'll keep the vibrations. But this is not an inverter one. This is the old, I call them the dumb generators. This thing will scream. It's really loud, really obnoxious. Um, but I'm, I just, uh, I was just kind of messing around. But it fits perfectly within the five gallon uh, sure can. And this is the only gas can you should ever buy for the rest of your life and uh it, it is it has its own spout that will pivot it's got an on off valve and then there's your fill and it's got handles on the bottom it's just it, here, there's a picture of some ding dong doing it right there all the new ones with those weird safety devices are such garbage and and this thing um Man, there's no going. Once you have a, I mean, they're pricey. There might have been like 50 bucks or something, versus like a 20 dollar gas can. But holy crap, there's no going back after that. Let's see anything new down here? Somebody taught me this trick. You paint your ball white, so it's easier to see in your backup camera when you're coming in. Stromberg tray is mounted. It's just kind of clamped in. The clamp there. And this is a clamping system here. This goes over the two rails. That's how it looks. And then we've got, uh, it comes up here, and this is your, your third point of a uh, little stability. Now sometimes, what I think I might do, another mod I might do, is just might wrap this in an old bicycle tire. 
because when you're spinning this, your knuckles just want to tap on there and, and just one time of busting your knuckles sucks. Some things we're doing that are special is I've got this uh, little little uh, seafood boiler pan going and we're about to do it. We're actually about to do crab. We're about to do crab and potatoes with a seafood boil. Uh, God, look at this. Everything is so track. This is our day fourth, fourth day on the beach. So things are a little bit wild. Oh, <clears throat> a little bit of breakdown. That's my Harbor Freight 3500 water right there. That is underneath the, the protective covering. We didn't use it. We haven't used the generator once on this beach. Now that we have solar panels, and at nighttime it gets about 65, and at daytime is 75 to 80. We have not turned on the generator once. And we usually, we like to sleep cold about 68 or 65, so that's perfect. I had a bunch of extra tools because uh, my brother had his, his casita here. He already left. He was parked right behind us. Uh, but, so we were doing, we installed an inverter and a Stromberg tray on his while we were here. So that box is empty. That was firewood. Uh, we brought max tracks just in case we get stuck. That little shovel stays in here. I actually have a compartment. If I move this stuff back, I open these latches up and my whole tailgate is full. You know what? Let me just show it to you. This is an awesome mod to take advantage of all the empty space in the voids of your truck. So I do a lot of hauling and towing and stuff so I've got straps large 5,000 pounder straps 2,000 pounder straps snatch blocks uh, shackles uh, roadside not flares but cones hammer which I've already used today to, to tap in the uh, the drill bit raincoat from when you have to change the tire, uh, tire in the rain uh, screwdrivers and I have a half inch in case I ever have to remove my uh, anti rabble device. <clears throat> and then below this I even have the, the folding uh, four-way tire iron. And then the below that is also the uh, the kit to wind down the uh, tire. But isn't this great that all this crap fits right here? And then, and it's really uh, heavy duty steel so you could, you could cut whatever. I'm getting sidetracked here. Okay, what was I talking about? Mods. So, the solar panel tops off the battery during the day, and then I've got an inverter. I'll show you that here in a second. But I've actually I got the charger for the lithium ion um, refrigerator charging. It takes about a four hours to charge that, and it will run between 12 to 16 hours, depending on the outside temp. Right now, it's full of beer. It had seafood earlier, but we were already cooking that up. Man, I, if I couldn't, if I could recommend anything, it would be to get this, this thing. That is, we've had so much fun with it. Just no ice, refrigerator. You can put so much more in there. Okay, I think I'm ready to take you inside to show you the uh, inverter install. And do we have any other mods? We have no. Uh, we have a shower curtain mod, but I think the inverter. Let's uh, let's go inside and take a look at the inverter. Okay, here we go. Coming inside. Oh, uh, the mattress that we have out here. The rule is you take your shoes off before you get to it, and that way you really don't have barely any sand coming in here, which is nice. Pardon the mess, I still got jam jams out. So, um, let me show you how this works. So I've got the inverter and some big gauge wire and I actually have the inverter wire down in here. And then I haven't, haven't done this yet, but I think I'm going to tap a hole in here and then mount this, uh, this uh, surge protector in here. So right now I just, I'm, I'm just lazy manning it, which is working just fine, temporary. But if I open this up, 
here I've got the inverter you can see I've got uh, my DeWalt charging batteries I've got all the ability to charge all the flashlights and if we look down here at the display panel we can see how many watts uh, well come on 32 watts is what is uh, is taking to charge my refrigerator and then here's my cords see that the large and and there's just a cavity right there we you just you just push them through and when I say push them through I mean if we come over here we open this up this is this is a mod everybody should do because you can charge all your phones all your flashlights all your batteries off of 110 oh we run a 600 watt coffee maker off this thing which is pretty much the real reason we have it we just have I mean, we have the the cheapest $20 mr. coffee but it's 600 watts which is quite powerful so if we open this up here's the install uh, these are actually like zero I think zero gauge wire real thick stuff that way they can carry the current the furthest but you can probably get away with four gauge or something but you drill two holes right there you run two grommets connect your uh, wires to your battery you run it through here to the breaker switch so if I hit this every you know everything would would kill for this power this is your safety thing and so I rated it for 120 amps which is what the uh, original um, inverter was was called for so if I don't want any battery draw this thing's going in storage for a long time or if there's a, for there's a weird issue of a voltage whatever you just hit this breaker switch and it just pshh, just kills it and it's resettable so that is and of course the only thing that I'm not showing is you just you're just plugging it into the battery but but man we are we love the ability to run a coffee machine in the morning without me having to go put all my clothes on go uh, turn the generator on and then have to come in brush off all my sand so we can we can do all that while we're lazy and sooner jam jams the coffee's making yes they sell remote start conversion kits for the harbor freight predator 3500 watt but we uh we'll buy that at some point a little home on the road also gave us uh, uh lighted switches for this and lighted switches for uh, the uh, heater so we know when they're on just a small thing small thing that we like we have a toaster oven in here that has peanuts that have fallen into it. The fridge today, how does it look? Lots of, uh, oh, my wife has a lovely recipe for like a zero calorie uh, margarita using that Fresca stuff. Shower, we have any mods in the shower? So the only issue with the shower is we have done a, um, What's it called? A uh, composting toilet. Where? Oh, you know, let me let me take a quick second to show you the composting toilet. And then we added another shower curtain to like block it off. So uh, it's a little bit tacky right now because I haven't painted this. We're just kind of fitting it in. But with the composting toilet, it has a little reservoir of like sawdust. Uh, we're on like our third month and we probably still don't need to ch to dump this thing um, probably because <laughs> we only use it just several times during your week vacation but so uh, urine will go through into the original black tank and um, number twos go into a sawdust container at the bottom and there is a fan in it's actually in here <clears throat> That will take, let's see if there's a hole. That's your inlet. It'll bring in fresh air and it'll bring it out through that pipe and it just plums into here. We had to we had to we had to modify this. You can see all this mod all these modifications we've done. So there was a black uh, a black tank vent that went all the way up there. We uh, chopped it from here 
to, oh man, did I really go all the way down there? To down there. And we added that fitting for the inlet. And all these fittings is just so that we can have a T-valve, which is uh, which, which has to have air running through the, uh, to keep the, uh, the sawdust dry. And, and then this three inch fitting is what houses a fan that came with the unit. And then to tap power into that fan, you can see there's the black cord. So all I had to do is drill a tiny hole right there to do the install. And what that, what that meant is it just came right through here. Oh crap, I got stuff in here. Maybe I'll reach it regular. And it, you, you literally just reach right through there and you can push your cord through. And then it'll come back here to this box and I just tapped it in with a line tap. Because this box already has, this is a brand new Casita, so it has a 12 volt uh, USB chargers. So I had 12 volt power right there, I just had to run a wire from there to that wall and into that, real, real simple. Of course I thought I was going to have to do all sorts of janky stuff and then I found that. Closet is full of dirty clothes. I don't know if we're going to keep it. I like this. I mean, we use it, but I think there's a better way of doing something. Here's our tin foil pans for our crawfish boil, or I mean our seafood boil. I think that's it for mods currently. Wow, this video is already 20 minutes. I'm so sorry, guys. If you made it to this far, I applaud you. And uh, we make the bed every day. We've gotten to the point where we've got it down to it just takes seconds. Oh, one trick we do is you put the two poles in first and then you float the table over and you hook that, you do the table at 45 degrees and hook that, the, the furthest pole and then it'll just come down onto that front pole. The hardest part now is just getting unstuck from the poles. I might use some white lithium grease. Here's my view right now from the beach. Isn't that lovely? Current temperature is 72 degrees. Will it, will it show? It's a beautiful, beautiful day. Oh, another mod I did was I deleted this thing, which we didn't know how much we hated until it was gone. So it usually has a lid that will close over here, and you can kind of use it as a countertop space. But the problem is, is when it's up, and you want a large skillet, you, the large skillet, it, it, we see how we burned this? The large skillet has to sit almost cattywampus over here because that wall. Uh, anyway, so I, I deleted this, which means we can finally actually take advantage of this. So now I can have plates here and the skillet here and then the food will just go right there. Before you had this wall and you had to just kind of figure out what to do and, and it was melting this because everything was pushed over. So you have to drill the rivets out zip zip and then it just comes off. And I think that, I don't know if that's just uh, black paint or if that's dirt but whatever, we don't care. We're just, we're just using it. So anyways, I can finally use this table now. You gotta delete that crap. Uh, I think one other mod I might do is to cut this see how this like line is here if I can delete this whole four inches because I like to wash my face in here but I have to put my head between this little gap and it's a pain in the butt it's just in your way but that's low priority um, makeup clothes what are we putting here here's just how we've got all the pillows and the Here's my section, I'll put my clothes over here and then the wife will have her clothes over here. And these are kind of like the personal everyday use stuff. So I got like cell phones, wallets, flashlights, guns, wallets, more flashlights, more guns, stuff like that. Anyways, I just really wanted to see the, uh, how that was. I mean, it's a simple mod, but it still takes like two hours to do. Just because you, you know, take your time on it. Let's go outside and take a look here, see what we got. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're about to start cooking. This is the boiler setup with just a, uh, I don't know what that is, this is it a 10 pound tank? 
and uh, just whatever cheap pot we could find in the little boiler. You can hear it screaming. It's going to take a lot of heat to boil 10 pounds of freaking water. Or, uh, no, how many gallons would that be? Four gallons? Five gallons of water? And then potatoes are going to go in first. And then we're going to have uh, the crab and a little bit of shrimp. Shrimp's going in there, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Got your butter, got your salt. Right. Look how small that casita is. It's hard to think that there's a bed and, and two dinettes and a kitchen and a bathroom all in that little space. You know? Make my Mexico dress. Oh, a lovely dress, honey. From Mexico. I think we got that in Progresso. We'll check, I'll uh, check back in with you when we get some more seafood made. Well, I uh, wasn't watching it and it spilled a little bit of its guts. And <laughs> some seasoning, all the good seasoning is up on the side now. Okay, we got a good boil. We're about to go get the uh, the fish. Let's, let's, let's put it in together. Let's watch. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do a, we'll do a poke yeah, test. Woo! And we're getting the uh, corn. Oh, we gotta shuck the corn too. Let's uh, we'll come back. Ow. Woo! Oh, it splashed right back up at you. Okay, corn is in, put the lid back on, and then uh, and then we'll do the uh, crab here in a little bit. Wait, you want the lid back on? Yeah, put the lid on. I well, I got turned it down. Okay. Shut. Yeah, shut everything off here. Let's see what okay, we got. We got. How many shrimp seeds is that? Probably about a, a dozen about or maybe. A dozen or so, yeah. Perfect. Okay, let's out and hold up in the air for me there oh yeah okay all right that's good so from what they tell us these are already all cooked so we just want to get them warm they're all cooked we're just warming them up getting that good seasoning in them uh, yeah, what, what would you say this was snow or what was snow. Did you say what, what state this was out of? Is this Maine? I would think Alaska. Alaska? Yeah. All right, two minutes. Two Let's minutes. Bring it on over. Wow. All right. That looks good, babe. That's great. Hope you're hungry. Shrimpies. Yeah, 
That. Uh, yeah. Those like sure look good. All right. That looks amazing. All right. Look at this. This is our. This is the best restaurant view in the house. You got your butter. Got your slappy mama. Yeah, Slap we, your we mama. melted the butter and then we added extra seasoning into it. Extra seasoning into the butter. So it's, and it's nice and ready to go. Oh my goodness, can we stay here forever? Yes. A little casita. Um, <laughs> do you want an extra plate for your potatoes and corn and stuff? Uh, yeah, maybe so. Yeah. Okay, we're going to get to eating. Catch you guys later. Laughing at you, baby. Dumb birds. Too stupid grabbing. <laughs> stupid birds. <laughs> Still doing a little fish fry. We got fried shrimp. Casita. And then another casita. Okay, zoom in on what we got. Three dozen oysters in the shell. They're huge. good so we'll see you guys later say bye honey bye. we're gonna slap your mama real quick here's another shot of the beach in fact I'll leave this rolling a little bit and you leave whenever you're ready to leave <laughs>